gorgeous people. This is Ambazar's DIY and other stuff. My name is Amber Meeks. If you're new here, I don't normally look this bad. <laughs> normally I start my videos with a full face of makeup, but today I am doing another video in the color collab series. And today the color is blue. So what we're doing is a full face of makeup with only the color blue, excluding foundation and like, you know, that base kind of stuff. Other than that, everything that we use has to be blue. And I didn't want you guys to see my final look before I was done with it. So I decided to start the video without makeup. And I hope that wasn't a mistake. There will be a giveaway at the very end of this series, so make sure that you watch all four of my videos so that you know what uh, to do for the giveaway. I will have an emoji in every single video, and you need all four emojis for that fourth and final video, which will be next week. So, oh boy, next week is orange, and I'm not looking forward to it. Me and orange don't get along very well. But today is blue, so without further ado, let's see if I can pull off a blue look. Okay, guys, so I've already put my foundation and all that stuff on that you guys don't care about, and I have no idea what that black fuzz is in my hair, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to start with this Moon Child Anastasia palette that I got from Life with Lois's, and I was debating, do I want to do the Blue Moon or do I want to do the Blue Ice? I wasn't really sure. I decided on the Blue Ice. So I'm going to use that to set my primer that I put on my eyes. I don't know why I did this first. I normally don't do this first, but for some reason, I started with this, so <laughs> that's what we're going with. I'm just, you know, slapping it all on there and I accidentally went into the purple. So I was like, okay, hold on a second. Let's wipe all of that off and now let's go into the blue. We are not doing purple. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Nonetheless, I'm just gonna slap it all on my face there, try to wipe off the excess. Looks awesome, right? So now I'm pointing to the blue ice again because I think I'm gonna use this for my blush. So I start putting it on and uh, nothing's happening. I'm putting it on. I'm like, you know, let's try a different brush. <laughs> yeah, still nothing. Uh, yeah, doesn't really get as dark as I was thinking it would get. I mean, I know it's a highlighter, guys. I get it. So I thought, ooh, let's try this Katy Perry lipstick that can also be used as a blush or an eyeshadow or whatever you want to use it with. Let's take that piece of hair off of there and um, let's slap that on my face and see what happens. So I start, you know, dotting it all over my face. It looks awesome. And I rub it in and I'm like, where the heck's it at? <laughs> guys nothing was working I was like what in the world is going on so I you know I did that to the one side so I have to do the same thing on the other side even though it didn't really do anything but I thought well let's make the faces match well the faces how about the cheeks <laughs> all right guys so after doing this for a little while realizing I'm not getting anywhere I decided to grab this bubble pop palette and I thought, okay, let's go in with the lightest shade of blue that's in this thing, right? So that would be this shade right here. I'm going to go ahead and dab my blush brush in it and, uh, you know, hope for the best here. So I put it in there and then it's on my face and wow, it's looking kind of green, isn't it guys? Hmm. I mean, I know there's like green stain on my brush, but there's no green left on my brush from the green challenge. So I'm really not sure why that's coming off a little green, but it did whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this LA Colors uh, pressed powder to just blend that out because I don't want it to be super blue, but I did want to have a little bit of blue on my cheeks, you know, because it is a blue challenge. So there you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this Wet n Wild Pac-Man Blue that I got from Jean Louise. This stuff is awesome. I do use it all of the time. So I'm putting this on and you know what guys, I really wish I would have put the Katy Perry lipstick on first and then put this over top of it. I think it would have set a lot better better on my lips like it would have set really nice but uh you know I didn't do that so uh yeah I'm just gonna darken this up that's what I normally do when I put this on but I think that if I would have put that Katy Perry on first I think it would have worked out better nonetheless this is what I did and this is what it looks like awesome okay so now I have these two eyeliners that I got in my eyeliner packs that I got from Amazon I was debating what should I start with I'm gonna use them both I thought well let's start with this lighter one I'm like ooh, baby <laughs> that's a pretty pale blue there but you know let's see what happens you guys know that I like my eyeliner super super dark those of you who watch me all the time know that I like super dark eyeliner and this is super light <laughs> I was like wow <laughs> All right, Ooh, what did you think was gonna happen? Look at how light it is, right? <laughs> it's like a pale blue. You're not gonna get dark with a pale, I'm just saying. So I'm like, all right, now let's go ahead and grab this other one since I have them both and hopefully I can darken that up a little bit. And I'm like, okay, it's like maybe a shade darker than the one I just put on, but you know, whatever, let's roll with this, right? These are the things that I have to use. I don't have anything else, I'm not buying anything else. 
So I'm slapping that on there and as you can see it's taking me a little while because I really wanted to darken it up. I think it's pretty but I don't know. I just wish that it was darker. I I just do because I prefer like a darker kind of an eyeliner. So this is all I had though. So I put it on. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm wow. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so now I'm grabbing the bubble pop pop palette again. <laughs> Can't talk. It's late, guys. I mean, it's really late when I'm doing this, but you know, whatever. All right, so a little dance here, trying to decide where to go. And I'm gonna go in with this lightest shade of blue, and I'm gonna use that in the corners of my eyes. I always like to start with a really light shade in the corners and then I like to work like kind of like an ombre effect to the outer corner of my eyes but this time I'm only going to use two colors because the next color that I'm going to use is pretty bright so I really wanted to give that color a chance to shine so that's why I'm just going to go ahead and do two this time so I try to make the eyes match looks good whatever okay guys here we go with the neon pigment that I got in my diva bag by Sonia those of you who watched that video are expecting me to use this so I feel obligated to give it a try right <laughs> I'm like wow guys look at that I mean that is super pigmented uh yeah let's see how it goes so I dip my finger in it and I'm like wowzas look at that so I thought okay should I blow some off I'm like yeah that didn't do anything and I'm like whoa bam I mean that's like bam blue but as I blended it in, guys, I mean, I'm feeling it. I mean, I'm really feeling it, right? So I had so much left on my finger. I just did like the crossover to get what I have left on my finger onto the other eye. And then I blended it in. Now it is pretty bold at this point. So I am going to tone that down with some highlighter, but low key kind of liking these neon pigments i think they're super fun she's got other ones available on her website and i might go ahead and snatch a few more just to buy them outright and uh see if i like any of the other colors so i'm going in with this Moonchild anastasia palette again that i got from life with loses and i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this blue ice color and i don't know why but i do this every single time i go in with this blue ice and then i find out that the blue moon works far better why i do this literally every single time i put blue on i have no idea but anyways, I'm doing the blue ice right now, but later in the video, you're going to see me do the blue moon because I think that it gives it a better effect. So I'm just going to go ahead, continue slapping this stuff on my face, trying to blend that out a little bit more because it was really, really bold. I mean, I don't mind bold looks, but you know, that was super bold. Just saying. So there we go. Awesome. Okay. So then I grabbed the blue moon, right? And I'm like, let's try that. And I'm like, Ooh, yes see I just think that blended a lot better now a lot of you will look at this and say I don't see a difference well I could see a pretty big difference so that's why I felt like I needed to do that okay so now I have this coastal sense glamour eyes palette that I got in a mystery bag from Kel's Mel Joy and I'm gonna go in with this darkest blue and I'm gonna use that on like my eyelid part well the whole thing's my eyelid the tip of my eyelid what the heck do you guys call that I don't know the bottom part of my eye let's just call it that really don't know what to say here all right guys so I'm just you know trying to make that as dark as I can and honestly guys I wish I would have used my Natasha Denona blue I think that would have been a better choice but I wanted to give this one a shot because I haven't used it yet and it worked okay but I think the Natasha Denona would have been a better choice so now I have this Maybelline soda pop palette I'm gonna go in with this blue raspberry and I am going to attempt to do the eyebrows guys okay my first eyebrow purple was a disaster the green was a success so I thought let's go super dark blue and hopefully I'll have another success <laughs> I don't know guys let's see I'm dipping it in here and I'm putting it on I'm like okay it's working but it's kind of patchy so this um, eyeshadow isn't as good as the green eyeshadow that I used in my other video but it's getting the job done and I don't think that my eyebrows look super crazy even though I'm using a blue eyeshadow to fill them in so overall it was a success but I had to go in quite a bit to fix all those patches so now I'm going in with this Luna Magic uh, mascara primer so that I can prime my eyelashes to get them ready for the blue mascara that I'm going to use I find when I do this I need to put it on really thick and you know kind of heavy and let, let it dry completely before I move on to the mascara so now that it's dried completely I have this mascara here and it looks like it's gonna be that light blue but watch when I pop it open guys I'm like whoa 
did my pigment get dumped into this or what? I mean, it looks the same color as that pigment I just put on my eyes, does it not? So I go to put it on and it doesn't go on very well. Like I was seriously struggling. I don't know if this already started to dry out for some reason or what. I mean, I did get it in a multi-pack that was fairly inexpensive from Amazon, but I mean, I did expect it to work a little bit better because the green one that I got in the same pack worked really well. So I got off camera and I added a bunch more. Now, after doing that, I was like, okay, I really don't like my under eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and redo it so here I go with the light color you guys are gonna look at me like I'm nuts well I am nuts but you know whatever so I'm missing a patch of mascara there that's always pointing to don't know what happened there I fix it later whatever so then I go ahead and go back in with that same eye pencil that I went in with before I thought if I prep and prime my eyes for the darker color it would go good so now I'm going back into the soda pop palette the blue raspberry and I'm gonna go ahead and use that under my eyes so I can get that nice nice dark eyeliner look that I was looking for and I think that this ended up being a success for me as far as wanting the darker eye line underneath my eyes I just really wasn't a fan of that super light blue and the only reason why I used the other light blues was to get it prepped to put that darker blue on the bottom so I thought I was done. I thought I was going to come in and say, oh, here's my look. And then I was like, whoa, I didn't put the highlighter on. So here I go in with this Moonshot Anastasia palette, again, that I got from Life with Lois's. And um, I go in with the blue ice because I did want to go in with the lighter one because I'm doing the highlight and I really don't want to look like a total Smurf. I mean, I'm tapping into my inner Smurf, but I don't want to be a Smurf if you get what I'm saying. So after I did that, boom, here's my final look. All right, guys, so it is a lot of blue. I mean, a lot of blue. But honestly, it's not out of the realm of what I would wear on a normal day. Minus the blue on my cheeks, not really a fan of that. But the rest of it, it's bright, bold, and fun. I would totally wear it on a normal day. Just saying. So here's the full outfit. I've actually never wore this before. I got this at Gabe's like forever ago, I think for like a dollar. And I have these super cute shoes that match it perfectly. And then I put the dark blue ribbon around my waist because that's all that I have. But I think a silver belt would look really cute with this. And obviously I didn't tuck it in, right? Look at that excess sticking out from the back. Whatever, you guys get the idea. Let's jump into final thoughts. Okay guys, so that was a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of blue, definitely uh, tapping into the inner Smurf here, but you know what? I do like bright, bold, crazy looks, like I've said many times, so this blue wouldn't be out of realm for me in the normal day-to-day. -day. I do wear this blue lipstick quite often. Now, my eye look isn't as bold when I wear the blue lipstick, but I do wear the blue lipstick, and I do bright blue eyes, you know, different shades. I hadn't used that neon stuff that I just got from Diva Bag by Sonia. Huge shout out to Sonia for sending me such an awesome pigmented blue. It was really fun to use for this challenge. But, uh, you know, when I do these kinds of challenges, I just really like to go for it. So I thought that would be the perfect thing to use. It is definitely... <laughs> very bold guys <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video we have one more week and we will have the orange challenge next week and then i will have what my giveaway is going to be and let you guys know all of the fine details for that but i will have an emoji in every single video so make sure that you've watched all of my videos and that you include all four emojis for the um fourth and final video when I actually do the giveaway. Now I know there was an issue with the green emoji that I chose for that week. Not everybody has that and I do have a plan for that so I will let you guys know in the fourth and final video. All right guys that's all I got for you guys this time and hopefully I'll catch you next week for orange. Oh boy. <laughs> Bye! So that's why I decided to start this one without any makeup on because I kind of wanted to like have the anticipation, I guess you can say, of what the look would look like when I'm, huh? <laughs> what the look would look Blue. Okay, try it again. Um, it's definitely a lot of blue. Definitely tapping into the middle. The middle? The, mi the inner. <laughs> try it again. Okay, guys. So that's definitely a lot of blue. No, it's a lot of fun. Hold on.